Robinson Helicopter Company has a long and fascinating history, one that began with the tenacity and vision of its founder, Frank Robinson. Today, this helicopter company is one of the top-selling civilian helicopter manufacturers in the world, with a reputation for innovation, quality, and safety. In this text, we will delve deeper into the company's history, exploring the factors that have made it so successful and the values that have guided its growth over the years. The story of this company begins in the early 1970s, when Frank Robinson was working as a designer and engineer for other helicopter manufacturers. Robinson had always been interested in aviation, and he was particularly fascinated by the idea of creating a small, affordable private helicopter that would be accessible to a wider range of people. At the time, most helicopters were large, complex machines that were prohibitively expensive for most private buyers. Robinson believed that there was a market for a simpler, more affordable helicopter that would be easier to operate and maintain to pursue his dream. Robinson decided to strike out on his own and start his own helicopter manufacturing company. It was a bold move and one that required a significant investment of time, money, and effort. Robinson mortgaged his house to fund the startup, and he spent countless hours designing, testing, and refining his vision for a new kind of helicopter. The result of Robinson's hard work was the R-22, a two-seat helicopter that was designed to be simple, reliable, and affordable. The R-22 was a departure from the larger, more complex helicopters that were common at the time, and it represented a significant innovation in the field of aviation. Robinson was determined to get the R-22 certified and built, despite the skepticism of many in the industry who believed that it would never be successful to Robinson's credit. He persevered in the face of this skepticism and successfully got the R-22 certified and into production. The R-22 was an immediate hit, with its combination of affordability, simplicity, and reliability making it an attractive option for private buyers and flight schools alike. The R-22 cut training expenses by 60 to 70 percent, opening up a whole world of helicopter flying to people who had never been able to afford it in the past. The success of the R-22 laid the foundation for this helicopter company's future growth and expansion. Robinson continued to innovate, developing new models of helicopters that were larger, more powerful, and more versatile than the R-22. The R-44, a four-seat helicopter that was certified in 1992, became the number one selling helicopter in the world, with success in many countries and still a strong seller today. The R-66, a turbine-powered helicopter that was certified in 2010, was developed in collaboration with Rolls-Royce and represented a major step forward in terms of power, speed, and versatility. Despite the success of its products, this company has always remained true to its core values of engineering, quality, and safety. Robinson Helicopter Company has always been committed to keeping as much of its manufacturing in-house as possible, which allows the company to have complete control over the quality and timing of its products. This approach is more expensive than outsourcing, but it allows Robinson to ensure that every helicopter that leaves its production line meets the highest standards of quality and safety. Safety has always been a top priority for Robinson Helicopter, and the company's commitment to safety can be seen in every aspect of its operations. From the tiniest part to the completed helicopter, every component is inspected multiple times to ensure that it is safe and reliable. Robinson's attention to detail and dedication to safety have made it the top-selling civilian helicopter manufacturer in the world, with a reputation for quality and reliability that is second to none. Second to Robinson Helicopter is a well-known manufacturer of helicopters based in Torrance, California. The company was founded in 1973 by Frank Robinson, who had a passion for designing and building helicopters that were affordable and accessible to a wide range of people. Over the years, Robinson Helicopter has become the top-selling civilian helicopter manufacturer in the world, with over 12,000 helicopters delivered to customers in more than 60 countries, one of the things that sets Robinson Helicopter apart from other manufacturers is its commitment to keeping as much of the manufacturing process in-house as possible. This allows the company to have greater control over the quality of its products and to ensure that everything is built to its exacting standards. The manufacturing process for Robinson Helicopter begins with the raw materials. Metal sheets, tubes, and other components are delivered to the company's facility 
which occupies almost a half mile of space at the Torrance Municipal Airport. The raw materials are then cut, shaped, and welded together to form the various parts that make up the helicopter's frame and other structures. The process of building a helicopter involves hundreds of individual steps, each of which must be performed with precision and care. For example, the helicopter's main rotor blades are made from composite materials, which are carefully molded and shaped to ensure the proper balance and aerodynamic properties. The tail rotor blades, on the other hand, are made from aluminum, which is machined to precise specifications and then assembled with a hub and bearings once all of the individual parts have been manufactured. They are assembled into sub-assemblies, such as the main rotor head or the transmission system. These sub-assemblies are then combined to form the larger components of the helicopter, such as the fuselage and the tail boom. Throughout the assembly process, each component is inspected and tested to ensure that it meets the company's high standards for quality and safety. One of the most important aspects of the manufacturing process for Robinson Helicopter is testing and certification. Before a new helicopter model can be sold to customers, it must undergo a rigorous testing process to ensure that it meets all of the safety and performance standards set by regulatory agencies, such as the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. This process can take several years and involves a range of tests, including flight tests, stress tests, and environmental tests. Once a new helicopter model has been certified, it is ready to be delivered to customers. Robinson Helicopter works with a network of dealers and distributors around the world to ensure that its helicopters are available to customers wherever they are. The company also provides training and support to its customers to ensure that they have the knowledge and skills necessary to operate and maintain their helicopters safely and effectively in addition to its commitment to quality and safety. Robinson Helicopter is also known for its innovative designs and engineering. Over the years, the company has introduced several new helicopter models that have been game changers in the industry. For example, the R-22, which was introduced in 1979, was the first helicopter to be designed specifically for the private market and was significantly less expensive than other helicopters on the market at the time. The R-44, which was introduced in the mid-1980s, was the first four-seat helicopter to be certified by the FAA and has since become the top-selling helicopter in the world. More recently, Robinson Helicopter introduced the R-66, a turbine-powered helicopter that is larger and more powerful than its previous models. The R-66 has been well-received by customers and has helped to expand the company's market share in the high-end helicopter market. Helicopter. The Robinson R-66 is a turbine-powered helicopter that has gained popularity in recent years due to its performance, versatility, and reliability. Once the helicopter is received by the customer, it must be assembled before it can be flown. The assembly process of the Robinson R-66 begins with unloading the helicopter from the shipping container. The helicopter is then moved to the assembly area where the main rotor blades are installed on the rotor head. The blades are secured in place and checked for proper tracking, pitch, and balance. Next, the tail rotor assembly is installed and aligned with the main rotor blades. The tail rotor pitch is adjusted and checked for proper tracking. The tail rotor blades are then checked for balance and rigging, and the tail rotor drive shaft is installed. The main gearbox is then installed onto the engine and secured in place. The engine is installed onto the transmission and the fuel lines and electrical connections are hooked up. The oil cooler is installed and connected to the engine and the hydraulic lines are hooked up to the hydraulic pump. The transmission oil is then filled and the main rotor system is checked for proper operation. The tail rotor system is also checked for proper operation and the pitch is adjusted as needed. The engine is started up, and the gauges and instruments are checked for proper operation. Once the engine is running smoothly, the electrical systems are checked, and the avionics are tested. The doors, windows, and seats are installed, and the interior of the helicopter is inspected for proper fit and finish. The external lights are installed and checked, and the helicopter is weighed and balanced. Finally, a thorough inspection of the entire helicopter is conducted to ensure that all systems are functioning properly and that the helicopter is airworthy. Once the inspection is complete,
the helicopter is test flown to ensure that it is operating correctly and safely. In conclusion, the assembly process of the Robinson R-66 is a complex and detailed process that requires a team of skilled technicians and engineers to ensure that the helicopter is assembled correctly and safely. The attention to detail and rigorous testing procedures that are used during the assembly process are critical to ensuring that the R-66 is a reliable and safe helicopter that can be used for a wide range of applications. Robinson helicopters have become popular due to their affordable price point, reliability, and ease of maintenance. The company has been able to keep their costs down by using in-house manufacturing for many of the components of their helicopters, rather than outsourcing to other companies. This has allowed them to control the quality of the parts and keep costs low, which translates to a more affordable product for consumers. Additionally, Robinson helicopters are known for their simplicity and ease of use. They're designed to be easy to maintain and operate, which makes them a popular choice for private pilots and small businesses. Robinson helicopters also have a good safety record, which is important for those who are considering purchasing a helicopter. The prices of Robinson helicopters vary depending on the model and any customizations that are made. The cheapest model is the R-22, which has a list price of around $300,000 in. However, this is just the base price, and any additional features or customizations can quickly add to the final cost. It's worth noting that owning and operating a helicopter is an expensive endeavor, regardless of the manufacturer. Maintenance and fuel costs can quickly add up, and the cost of insurance is also a consideration. However, Robinson helicopters have been able to make helicopter ownership more accessible to a wider range of individuals and businesses due to their affordability and ease of maintenance. The Robinson R66 helicopter is generally designed for private and commercial use, such as tourism, utility work, and law enforcement. It is a versatile helicopter with a spacious cabin and is equipped with various safety features, making it an ideal choice for a wide range of missions. To fly a Robinson R66, one needs to obtain a private pilot license or a commercial pilot license with a helicopter rating. The requirements to obtain these licenses may vary depending on the country or region, but they generally include a minimum number of flight hours, ground school, written exams, and practical flight tests. Additionally, Robinson Helicopter Company offers an optional R66 pilot transition course for pilots who want to learn how to fly the R66 or transition from other Robinson models. This course includes both ground school and flight training and covers the helicopter system's performance, emergency procedures, and maintenance procedures. As for the price, the Robinson R66 helicopter's base price starts at around $1.2 million. However, the final price may vary depending on various factors, such as the chosen configuration, optional equipment, and delivery costs. It's worth noting that the R66 is one of the most affordable turbine helicopters in its class making it a popular choice among private and commercial operators. The Robinson R-66 turbine and R-66 turbine marine helicopters are some of the most reliable, economical, and easy to maintain aircraft in the world. With their two-bladed rotor system, T-bar cyclic, hydraulically boosted controls, and streamlined instrument panels, the R-66 had become the preferred choice for many pilots and operators. One of the key features of the R-66 is its powerful Rolls-Royce RR300 turbine engine, which provides operators with increased reserve power, additional payload capacity, and improved altitude performance. The lightweight RR300 engine also operates on readily available jet of fuel, which makes it more economical and practical to use. Another significant advantage of the R66 is its spacious 300 LB capacity baggage compartment which makes it ideal for transporting cargo, equipment, or luggage. This feature, combined with the helicopter's exceptional performance capabilities, gives operators greater flexibility and utility. The R-66 also meets the FAA's current crashworthiness regulations with energy-absorbing seats and a crashworthy fuel system. This provides pilots and passengers with a higher level of safety and security while in flight. But who can buy a Robinson R66 
and how can one become a pilot of this aircraft? The answer to the first question is relatively straightforward. Anyone who meets the FAA's requirements for owning and operating a helicopter can purchase an R-66. This includes individuals, businesses, and organizations that have the necessary resources and experience to own and operate a helicopter. Becoming a pilot of the R-66, however, requires significant training, experience, and certification. In order to become a helicopter pilot, one must first obtain a private pilot's license, which requires a minimum of 40 hours of flight time, including at least 20 hours of flight instruction and 10 hours of solo flight time. After obtaining a private pilot's license, one can then obtain a commercial helicopter pilot's license, which requires a minimum of 150 hours of flight time, including at least 100 hours of piloting command time, 50 hours of cross-country flight time, and 10 hours of instrument flight time. In addition to obtaining the necessary licenses and flight hours, pilots must also receive specialized training on the R-66, which includes familiarization with the helicopter's unique features, handling characteristics, and performance capabilities. In conclusion, the Robinson R-66 Turbine and R-66 Turbine Marine helicopters are some of the most reliable and economical aircraft in the world, with features and capabilities that make them ideal for a wide range of applications. While anyone can purchase an R-66, becoming a pilot of this helicopter requires significant training, experience and certification. Robinson introduces optional impact-resistant windshields for R-22, R-44 and R-66 helicopters to provide protection from bird strikes. Right now, you are watching main rotor blade modification tutorial rigidly support both main rotor blades and apply rotor brake or remove main rotor blades per maintenance manual. Clean blade and the blade's trailing edge where the blade cord increases. Using magnification and bright light inspect upper and lower surfaces of blade between trailing edge and at the trailing edge corner where the blade cord begins to increase. Verify no cracks, corrosion or the damage. Using a fine point marker, mark trailing edge. Remove triangular shaped area by filing. Hand file spanwise towards blade tip while holding file square to trailing edge. Tap test railing edge in reworked area per maintenance manual. Mix and apply thin coat of primer to trailing edge and allow to cure. 